Hi guys, Sam here and welcome to the Timeline of Phoenix Suns channel. Today I'm talking about the most surprising hidden gem of the Suns' four preseason games, and that's Frank Kaminsky. Now before you say anything, I know this is just preseason, and we're not going to go crazy with our expectations, but let's break down a little bit of film on one of the Suns' new bench pieces and why he's got people excited. The Suns signed Frank to a two-year deal this summer worth just under $5 million per season, and he was brought in along with Dario Saric to help fill a massive gap at the power forward position. The Suns finished dead last in the NBA last season in both three-point shooting and rebounding, so finding guys who can check both boxes was a priority, and Frank seemed to fit that bill. Now overall this preseason, Frank averaged 13.5 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 2.8 assists per game coming off the bench while shooting 47% from the field, 42% from deep, and 86% from the free throw line. If you extrapolate those numbers out to per 36 minutes, then that's 21 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists, which is plenty for a bench guy. Now, coming into this season, I basically expected Frank to just catch and shoot threes, and to an extent, we've seen a lot of that from him in preseason. But we also saw him do some really cool and unique stuff besides that. First of all, his playmaking was fantastic. In the final two games of preseason, Frank dished out 11 assists to only one turnover. And as you can see from these clips, some of these assists are routine. There's nothing flashy about them, and Kaminsky is just rotating the ball around the perimeter to find the open man. But in some other assists, he's actively creating the opportunity for a teammate to score in the first place. Unlike some Suns bigs of the past, like Dragon Bender, Kaminsky is a big who's not afraid to drive. Don't take for granted these clips where he drives, stops once the defense collapses, and finds the open man on the perimeter. For many big men in the NBA, doing this sort of thing is basically unheard of. Even on plays like this one that didn't result in an assist, Kaminsky drives and kicks to arguably the best shooter on the Suns in Cam Johnson. It's hard to argue with that sort of offensive efficiency. And on this play, you get a Kaminsky Saric big on big pick and pop, which is pr pretty much just funny to watch. We've seen some unique aspects of Frank's offensive game as well. In these clips, you can see Frank using his size on Hernan Gomez, driving to his left and spinning to his right after gaining good positioning. Over the past two years in Charlotte, Kaminsky scored .91 points per possession in the post, placing him just above average compared to the rest of the league. In this next clip, he leverages the switch on a screen to get good positioning for the offensive rebound, and he delivers the putback and one. Kaminsky averaged career-high numbers in both total rebounding percentage and offensive rebounding percentage last season, another good sign for him going into his fifth year. Here on another switch, Kaminsky makes the mid-range over Jamal Murray look easy. He really doesn't take a lot of these shots and never has in his career, but that doesn't mean he won't be aggressive against a guy several inches shorter than him. And then there's just this clip, which is absolutely insane. You have a seven foot big man taking step back threes. Clearly that should be a sign that Kaminsky is a little bit more advanced than just catching and shooting. Now, a couple things. First, this is still Frank Kaminsky we're talking about. So you have to realize defense isn't gonna be a priority. Frank recorded just one block and one steal in close to 100 minutes of play throughout all of preseason. I did think he looked pretty solid navigating the pick and roll defensively, but we're focusing on his offense here for a reason. And second, yeah, I know it's preseason. At the end of the day, Frank is just going to be a backup big for the Suns, likely playing only 15 to 20 minutes per game. But preseason showed us that he's capable of not only hitting shots and rebounding, but also finding his teammates wide open at a very high level for a big. He's also made a number of strides to his offensive game and developed his repertoire to the point where you can expect him to be one of the Suns' most important bench pieces. If Phoenix does take a big step forward this year, I'd be willing to bet Frank's presence is a solid reason why. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Frank in preseason. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and please go check out our podcast as well, available on Apple, Spotify, and Stitcher for more weekly Suns content. Until next time, guys. Thank <laughs> you.